trying to raise awareness here in Eastbourne for a skate park in Hamden Park. Uh, this is what they've created so far, and this is a set of dirt jumps that the, the young people and the parents have come down and dug themselves. Um, it's been really well used, um, lots of enthusiasm by the young people to actually get this area developed. I'm uh, Tara from uh, boardroomtech.com and today we are um, selling and promoting uh, my website on selling skateboards and we've got skateboard t-shirts. Um, I'm SBO, I'm a beatboxer. So I'm here today to perform and I think it's a great idea to get this kind of thing um, just in, in the local area really gives, gives kids an opportunity to, to really express themselves and do something they actually want to do. What would you want to see then? Like, if you, if you could like, take it'll be more different to get yeah, more around. Yeah, stop the big yeah. yeah, I think it's a lot more fun than just doing normal stuff like playing in the park. And Hi, I'm David from Evolution Skate Parks. I'm the project manager at Evolution Skate Parks, and we're here today in sunny Eastbourne to try and show the need for a skate park in this area. We've got a bit of a stand going on with demo riders and showing different uh, parts of our ramps and how they're made, the product's made itself. And we're trying to get as much input from the users as we can to try and draw them a good design, which has got everything they want with the, the um, best ramps and uh, best flow. Um, I'm from Western Supermare and I'm here promoting Evolution Skate Parks. Uh, trying to get a bid to put a park in for the young kids. I'm here supporting Evolution because uh, they put a park uh, in my local town about 10 years ago. Um, it kept me out of trouble to stay in a skate park on my bike and eventually I've now got a career with bikes, uh, bit, you know, working in the BMX industry, and that's what I do now for a living. I, I support myself greatly, and it's, you know, I'd love to see skate parks built in more places so kids got more options for, for different futures that aren't, you know, just academics or working in an office. I think it's really important for my kids to, to go somewhere nice and local that caters for their age group in particular, you know, for the under 10s. I think the one at the skate park on the seafront is absolutely fantastic, but it does cater for the older kids, um, which can become a bit unsafe at times. So it'd be nice to have a, a local park, maybe with some designated space for the, for the under 10s, it would be ideal. What we're really looking for today is a feedback from the youngsters. No good me telling them you're gonna have this or you're gonna have that. It's what they actually will use and enjoy. So that's why we're having this consultative event, so that we can get their feedback on our forms here to tell us bits that they enjoy working with and playing with. And then when we know what they want, we can raise the money and hopefully provide it. So what we're going to do now is we're putting together a fund and a bid to get hold of some metal ramps. Uh, we've got three skate park designers in today uh, with some live music, lots of other things going on. And uh, we're going to get the feedback from the young people uh, and develop all of their ideas and actually develop this, uh, this skate park in, in this area. We're hoping to put in a 35 by 25 square metre uh, tarmac area uh, and that's where all the skate park will be going on to. Okay, Sovereign Harbour is uh, uh, one of the excellent sites in Eastbourne which has just recently been redeveloped and it's uh, been there for two years. Regularly has at least sort of 100, 150 kids using it every single day. Uh, and this is used by all sorts of different um, wheeled vehicles, shall I say. Um, but BMX, skateboards, uh, inline skaters and the scooters. Uh, it's a fantastic little site uh, and, and extremely popular. But all it is is a lot of ramps. So what the young people are now asking for is can we get a little bit something a little bit more street, a little bit more urban with grind rails and, and stairs and things. So that's what we're hoping to try and put it down here. So sort of basically based on what the young people will eventually give us as their, their, their overall feedback. Room. One of the other benefits of this site is, uh, is the fact that although it's been developed by the young people and the parents, because it is so well used, the council is now going to be giving it its full backing. Um, they tend to leave the young people alone. If the ramps get a little bit too high, a little bit too dangerous, they come and take the tops off them. But generally, the council are more than happy for this site to be developed. And also the police, we've been in consultation with them, 
and they're saying that uh, because we've got the road just behind us and they've got clear sight of uh, vision onto the park, it's an excellent site for them to be able to sort of monitor and keep an eye on the young people, make sure there's nothing going on here that they don't want to be going on. So lots of support from everybody in the area uh, and that's another reason why it's going to be such a popular site.